Off we go again. This time we're going to stop every other lap. Right now I've gone ahead and opened up only the vent on the top of the helmet. Immediately airflow is very different and the shape of the vent being round, not straight, is definitely going to pull more air in apparently. So we'll see. So like I said, just the top vent open. Let's see what we get. But at slow speeds, there is far more airflow in front of my face. And breathing is not fogging up the windshield like it did with the helmet closed. So that's a good start. With the vent open on my head, it's going to be an interesting question of stability at speed. How does that affect the helmet when we're doing over 100 miles an hour? So we will see. And we'll be immediately able to assess that going up to the corkscrew. Yeah, your head's off at a very slight angle. It's going to keep that angle with the airflow and the resistance from the vent on top. Which means, as you look through the corner, it's actually going to hold your head in position. That, to me, seems like a good thing. Don't see anything wrong with that at all. So let's go back to the front straight. Get some speed going and see what it does there by keeping my head completely centered. Keep your head still, not an issue, no problem at all. Give it one more shot in five, one more shot going up to the corkscrew, then we'll pull in. Okay. Still no fogging at slower speeds like before. Okay, fast again. No, no issues at all. Turn your head in feels like it holds it quite nicely. Let's get it up over a hundred again. Over a hundred, the airflow increases in front of my face. So that's interesting to note. So what we notice is slow speeds becomes repeated over 100. Well, it's not a bad thing. However, if that disturbs you, keeping the vent open at high speed on the top is not necessarily a good idea. Okay, we'll go in. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and open the vents over the eyes. So this will be a really quick stop and straight back out. Might even be able to do this just driving through the pits. Let's give it a go. So, pull them to the outside of the helmet. There, they're open. Okay, let's get back out. Okay, we're good. Yep. Still no fogging at slower speed, so that's good. Can't tell if there's much more airflow yet, so let's get to a decent speed and try and figure that out. And the first part for that is four to five. Take the track properly.
Go past those good ones. Yes, definitely more airflow across the front of my face with the eye vents open, definitely. But that again is only over 100 miles an hour. Now with both upper vents open on the helmet, I don't get any additional wind noise. And there's no instability in the helmet either at speed, so that's all good too. We'll just make sure of that on the front straight. change in airflow or noise so that's all good we'll just wait watch the line for the Ducati into the corner Get speed going. No, nope, no additional either noise or wind on my face, so that's good. going in so the one thing we've got left to do now is the chin vent we'll just do that as we pop through the the hot pit and go straight back out now the holes on the chin vent are pretty big compared to the eyelets so let's see what we got in fact, I can do the chin now. There it is. Oh yeah, that's a lot more air. <laughs> that's a lot more air. All right. Let's see what we get now. That is a huge difference. If I leave my mouth open, I can actually feel it feel air going in there at a reasonable rate so we should notice a profound difference at speed in air flow so let's get back on the track correctly yeah you can immediately notice a difference and we do your 60 to 80 The stillness of the air in the helmet with the chin vent open is gone. And that stillness, the calmness was really nice earlier, especially for my eyes. Get on the front straight now with maximum airflow. 
Let's see if the actual noise in the helmet goes up. That was a bad idea hitting six. The front left the ground. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's okay. Helmet, rock solid. Ambient noise, definitely more. So with earplugs, you won't notice a damn thing. But if you run without, it gets loud. Not so much that it's painful on your ears, but depending on the frequency of the noise, it will be bothersome, which means some of your attention is spent on noise, and that's not a good thing. So, overall, really nice helmet. Very nice helmet. I really love the fact that with the chin vent closed, especially with track speeds, you get that calmness and the airflow slows down so there's nothing coming across your face distracting you at high speed. That's a wonderful feature of this helmet. So, I know it's going to get some more design revisions, so we'll see what those revisions are. But for now, given what we have, this is a really nice helmet. And for street speeds, it's going to be calm, stable, quiet. And then for me, just, just enough airflow to keep the air in the helmet fresh and not just still and stale. That's all personal preference. Many people like with the helmet, the chin piece all the way in, so it's locked around their lower jaw. I don't like that. So each to their own. And with this helmet, there is a little flap that pulls down to make it wider so that you can cut your chin off. In terms of airflow, not literally. <laughs> All right, so there's a quick test on the Nitec helmet. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that was useful information for you. Definitely strongly consider this helmet as a future.